did, he probably called Sakasana, and someone gave him the wrong then, answer. Yeah. You know. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm still packing for my cruise. Um, one, I had to buy a luggage. So this is a carry-on size bag. As I told you guys, I am leaving out of Miami. So I have to fly there. And I really just don't know what happened to my other carry-on bag. So I went, I got this off Amazon. And y'all know these airlines are so tricky now with their um, baggage criteria dimensions. So I picked one that was the exact dimension. And to me, this bag looks really small, but it's supposed to be the exact size. I bought two different ones. One's going to come tomorrow. I guess this is okay. Yeah, this is probably carry-on size. I don't know why it looks so small. So this was like $50, $53. So I just tried to find the cheapest one. So I went with this one. I will leave a link in the description of this video. This is gonna be a quick video. So I did good packing yesterday. I even started packing my clothes and a lot of my stuff already fit in my first bag, but I wanted to show you guys a few other things today. So yes, this is gonna be my carry-on. And then um, I'll show you guys one other thing that I love to take on a cruise. So this is a pool hammock. So I forgot to take this on my last cruise and I was mad about it. So this time I was like, oh, let me get those out. They were in my storage. So it's like, let me get them out. Look how small it folds down. I got these from um, TJ Maxx. So you, it's fast to blow up, takes like two minutes, and it's a um, hammock. So you could take this. I take it. I took it to Jamaica in the ocean with my visor I showed you guys yesterday. This is an easy way just to lay in the water and just float. You won't go far the way if, if it's not high waves, you know, you obviously don't want to use this if there's a lot of waves pushing you out far into the sea. But for floating around the shore, perfect. You can lay, your head will be out of the water, your feet will be out of the water, and you could just relax in the water and just enjoy it without having to try to like keep your balance or all the other random stuff. So I will be packing this. And then I did a Dollar Tree run because on the last cruise, I brought some stuff from Dollar Tree that was just very handy. I don't know if I showed you guys, I am taking a nightlight because there are no thin lights in the cruise. I showed you guys my hooks for the shower, but on my last cruise, I did get one of these from Dollar Tree. So I am going to bring this too. So I'm gonna bring two of these. So I got the one from yesterday, and then I'm gonna take this one too. This is to hang over the shower in the bathtub of the cruise, you know, to dry your stuff. So you don't have to dry it inside the shower. Next, of course, disinfectant wipes definitely handy so i got those on the last cruise i did bring a sponge and some dish soap so i could wash out my cups you know i have all my cups so i brought this sponge and i'm going to fill it up with dish soap i have a small dish soap i have to find it but i do have a small one for my last cruise unless i left it there i probably could have got another one from dollar tree today just a little small bottle of dish soap it's all you need and this is what i didn't have on the last cruise that i wish i had toilet bowl freshener that toilet in the bathroom even when it's clean it just starts smelling like toilet like you know you're in the ocean i don't know how the water situation whatever but this time i did not forget i was like yes you put in this right in the toilet for seven days i want to go into a fresh bathroom and then some sponges so I like to keep my room clean myself. So I just bring some stuff to clean here and there. I don't want it to be um, so dirty. I will say this is random, but just pack some gum. Like you're not gonna have a lot of snacks or treats or things you can normally go out and buy. So just bring some gum or something you like to snack on. So I just brought some gum to make it easier. And then this, I did take this on my last cruise. Let me show you guys. So I took this, um, the plug-in freshener. Ooh, my hands are real dry. 
I just came from outside. Let me put some lotion on. This cold air be drying my skin out so fast. But anyway, I did bring that on my last cruise. So this plug-in freshener, but the thing is, it's from Dollar Tree, so it's called Sure Scent. I forgot to buy the right scent to go in it, like the size, so it didn't fit, so I couldn't really use it. But this time, I was sure to make sure they both had the same name at the top. So I just got whatever scent I could find. This just keeps the room fresh, you know, all week. So the bathroom needs some freshener. The room needs to be fresh. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I also like to get these crazy glue, super glue. It's a one-time use size. And you just honestly, you don't even know, never know when you'll need um, super glue on the cruise. And the other thing that I will mention that I don't have out here, it's probably in my toiletry bag. Definitely bring some of those mini scissors that go in your um, manicure kit. I needed some scissors, so at the first port, I had to stop and go in Walgreens and buy some scissors. They were like $8. So just take your own. You could get them for like $2 and a whole kit from like Marshalls or something. So that is the second part of my essentials. So I'm going to wait till the other suitcase comes tomorrow so I can compare them because this one has two regular wheels. The, one, the other one that I got is spinners, which I prefer, but I want to make sure with the wheels on the spinner that it doesn't exceed the airline um, carry-on baggage. So I'm going to compare the two sizes and make sure once I get the other one with the spinners that it's still, like, once I measure it with the wheels. Because, you know, they'd be like, put it in the bin, make sure it's the right size. So I want to just make sure before I get there, I like to be prepared because the airlines be tripping trying to get that extra money. So that is all. Um, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. So, yeah, I forgot to show you guys this stuff yesterday, but I did have to run to Dollar Tree to get it. But think about your room, how you like to keep your house fresh, smelling good. You want those same things. If you're going on a like five, seven, 12 day cruise, you will need some sort of fresheners for the room. Especially if you're sharing rooms with your kids or anyone else, or even your kid's room. If your kids have their own room, you probably want to put some freshener stuff in there too. So, and also a nightlight is good to have, especially if you have an inside cabin. I did not take a nightlight last time. And I had an inside cabin and I realize now I have all these nightlights around my house for my daughter. A nightlight would have definitely been handy because it literally gets pitch black when you don't have a balcony or a window. I didn't even have a window, so I had an inside cabin. So it, it gets very dark and having a little nightlight so that when, you know, if people are coming in the room at different times or even you, if you're getting up to go to the bathroom, it's not like pitch black. So I am going to bring a nightlight, even though I have a balcony this time, just to have, because with the balcony, you have that moonlight. With the window, you have that moonlight coming in. But I'm just going to bring a nightlight this time. And I think from now on, I will be packing a nightlight too. So that is it for this video, guys. Like and subscribe to our channel. If this video was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like this video. And I will leave the, the link for this suitcase in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link to the other suitcase that I got in the description of this video so you guys can see if you're traveling for your cruise and you're looking for something that is going to meet the guidelines of the airline you're traveling on, you can check the dimensions out. Usually they have a standard size, but sometimes it's off by an inch or a half an inch and something and that throws you off. So I know I'm flying JetBlue, so I looked up their policy and I bought a carry-on bag that exactly fits their size. So I will see you guys later. Hope you like this video. Bye.